So Imagination is most famous for our Power VR graphics. Uh, we've been doing it for over 20 years. We're a leader in the field, um, used in literally billions of products uh, around the world. We've got some demonstrations here of what state of the art using uh, the latest API called OpenGL ES 3.0 uh, running. You can see this, this large screen being driven by a, a smartphone using our technology. Some people may recognize that. And you can see the advanced materials effects, the very high complexity imagery, very high frame rate, but also the fact that it's incredibly complex and sophisticated graphics whilst the CPU is actually at very low loading. And that's what an advanced GPU does. Uh, we've got many other examples of that um, using advanced techniques here. We're on many different uh, chips. This is as a licensing technology. This is why our graphics is so attractive for developers, because if they uh, design and really take full advantage of our graphics, then they can use MediaTek chips, Intel chips, uh, all winner chips, uh, many other people uh, are using our graphics in many different applications and this is why uh, we're, the, we're the GPU of choice for, uh, for developers. Um, so we are the leader in, in mainstream graphics. What we're now doing is breaking new ground with a very advanced graphics. And so what we're doing uh, is in bringing ray tracing technology uh, to the market in the next couple of years. This historically has been something which we've only done uh, using uh, server farms for CGI for films like Avatar or Toy Story or things like that. And we're now taking, thanks to some unique technology we have, we can take that technology and bring it to a tablet. And so we're, we're bringing ray tracing and what that rate, whereas all of this it looks nice, but you can still sell its computer generated. Ray tracing in its, in its uh, purest form actually can make it indistinguishable from photorealism. And so ray tracing has an understanding of light, which means that it absolutely models everything here. And then we've got a simple demonstration here of our ray tracing technology, where uh, what David's doing is taking us through time of day and hopefully getting back to daylight at the same time. Uh, where th this technology historically to get this sort of quality of imagery would only happen if you were using a server farm. You could be computing it for days in advance and then playing it back. We're doing this instantly. The technology we're bringing will be bringing that to a tablet and that means you'll be able to do film quality uh, photorealistic interactive graphics and this will change the game for graphics again and we are the only people that know how to do this. Has this been uh commercially distributed yet or is this just brand new? We're taking, we're, it is brand new, we've been talking about it for, for, a, for a year or so now. We're making a lot of progress, you're going to hear a lot more about this this year. Uh, we're already in advanced engagement with lead customers on this now. Uh, but it's very advanced technology, we expect it's going to take another you know, a couple of years before you're going to be buying products using this stuff. Um, but we're working with advanced, not only the, the hardware platform developers, but also advanced content people like Unity for example, to be able to bring this to, to the market.